Hey everybody, uh, so today I'm doing a vlog, it's the first one for this channel, and um, I'll be talking about how my truck's been so far, what problems I've had with it, why I chose it, and stuff like that. So first off, I'm just over 51,000 miles, uh, I daily drive it, I've been on, the ro uh, been on three road trips so far with it, uh, and it's been great. Current mileage is at 19 mpg, and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I've only ran into one issue since having the truck, and it was a check engine light. The light came on twice, both were for uh, the same to the same thing, uh, which was for the DEF. The first time, it was just the light, then about 50 miles after driving, a message popped up and said, Service DEF System, C Dealership. It had a countdown of 150 miles until it would go into limp mode. But luckily I was only about an hour away from my destination so I took it to the dealership there um, when I got there I talked to the manager you know let them know what the situation was that I'm on vacation all that stuff uh, if they could fix it you know as soon as possible that would be great I try they tried to explain everything to me and that was wrong but I was so ready to get out of there and go see my family which is why I was on the trip that all I heard was it would take about five days to get the truck in and then a couple more days just to fix it and I didn't have that kind of time so I just had them reflash the truck and then I went on my way two days later I was on the road again heading back home and after about an hour of driving the check engine light came back on so there was no message with it like the first time so I kept driving and waited to see if the message would come up again but it never did so when I got home I uh, drove to an auto parts store in town to see if they could clear the code and the guy doing the test said it wouldn't let him clear it because it read it as a permanent code. So after that I went to go leave the store and I had no check engine light on the dash so I was like okay cool I don't know you know what it did but light went off so since then it's been about two and a half thousand miles um, since the light came on and I haven't had another light come on yet. The only thing I could think of that I did differently before the cell came on was maybe adding some bad uh, diesel exhaust fluid before the trip, which before the trip I was at 25% DEF and I just wanted to add at least a gallon of fluid before I left on the trip, which I bought from Walmart. So I'm thinking it was just uh, sitting on the shelf for too long or something like that. But um. As far as problems go, that's the only thing I've had happen to me. I will be doing deletes, and having that happen with the DEF makes me want to delete them even more. But um, I am looking forward to putting those on and the exhaust and tunes, but it probably won't be a couple more months because I am saving right now. Since I'm getting out of the military next year, I want to be set for that and have plenty saved up. Once I get everything ordered though, I'll post videos of installs and all of that stuff. Now I chose the truck because I knew I wanted a diesel and I love the fourth and second gen looks but I got a good deal on this one so I just you know went ahead and rolled with it. I wanted a diesel instead of a gas truck because the reliability, the fact that I could tow anything I'd ever want to without even thinking is nice and they hold their value more. And since I plan on keeping the truck for a long time diesel sounded like it would suit me best. I do recommend though um, going out and looking at the Power Strokes and Duramax and stuff and seeing if, seeing if uh, you like those better or have you know, a better preference on those before you just go and buy one, uh, which is what I did. But another point I want to touch on is why I chose a Loveling kit as opposed to a lift kit. And I've been asked a couple of times if I had my truck lifted and stuff like that, but I just tell people, you know, it's just a two and a half inch leveling kit. It just lifts the front end up, and most of them are like, oh, that, you know, that's pretty, pretty tall. But diesels come factory a lot taller and bigger than gas trucks, so that's why that is. And um, the leveling kit I chose was from Rough Country, and it was only about a hundred bucks, and it took four days to get to my house with free shipping. So the cost was nice, and because at the time a hundred dollars sounded better than spending over a thousand and I wanted to do something cosmetic to the truck anyway so uh, the install of the leveling kit was super easy 
the only part that took long was actually trying to jack my truck up high enough with floor jacks and wood blocks um, just to get the, the springs out but after all that I was able to fit the wheels I wanted um, without any rubbing I didn't have to trim anything and so it was, it was pretty nice that way all I had to do was an alignment afterwards and overall I'm pretty happy with the kit and if anybody tries to or decides to get the same kit for a 13 or 14 the instructions are pretty clear cut it's, it's very simple and it'll be a piece of cake and I do want to get a 5 to 8 inch lift kit at some point but that's going to be after all the engine mods and exhausts and everything like that um, but uh, I will be posting longer videos in the future and, but other than that that's all for this video guys so I'll be posting again soon so subscribe and stay tuned and I'll catch you guys later oh,